Hello, this is Will Seeger here, March 3rd, day 8, the day of uh, high adventure today. We were coming down through the hills uh, on the way to Cumberland Sound. We followed the valley, and uh, it's a real, real exciting day, uh, many downhills. There's a couple of techniques of going downhill with a heavy laden dog sled. Um, if there's deep snow, that has a tendency of breaking the sled, uh, slowing, it up, slowing it down in other words. But you always have a tendency of getting the sled away from the dog so it's not coming right down uh, and hitting them. So it's parallel but going at, at about three or four feet off to the side. And then the dogs run separately and if you get real steep areas then the sled has a tendency of catching up with the dogs. And then in other areas you um, put brakes, uh, chains, uh, any type of rope, whatever, around the runners, that slows it down so it goes much slower. So in uh, icy conditions, you usually use the brakes. Um, <laughs> Boy, these tires are awesome. Yeah, really nice. And then we got into a canyon. Uh, There's a lot of overflow. Overflow is very typical uh, this time of year. The water is flowing down the mountains. Uh, it's flowing on the outside of the streams. And especially in these canyons, it collects, so it's always flowing down. It's almost like a hot springs in a way, the way it layers up, but it's ice. And um, we had a very slick surface. There's a couple problems there is there's water, and then there's a very slick surface. And the dogs are kind of freaked out on the ice. They have a tendency of hugging on the rocks, and the, our sleds got all hung up on the rocks. And then the sleds went into the water on the side. And it was almost like a dam. Once we broke through, through the snow, the water then poured out. and. The two or three hours we were in that canyon trying to get out of it, the water started flowing. The whole thing was just flowing by the time we got out of there. We all had wet feet. Uh, luckily, it was a warm day, about zero degrees. If it was 40 below, it would have been a different story. Uh, but a lot of that might have been frozen up. But, but uh, you always have a, find a way of getting out of it. It looked for a while, and it's wondering how we're we going to get out of this. But I always know you always find a way. It was getting dark, and uh, one of the sleds with our flash, my flashlight went forward, so I was watching the time, but we got got out of there okay and a little bit of venture. We uh, had a tendency of bringing the team together and working with Simon on the sled was really a great thing for all of us. He really bonded with us on that and cooperation and working hard together. So it was a really great day yesterday. Well, it's, it's over. I don't think I'm going to go back up there again. I don't think so. Not me. No thanks. <laughs>